My name is Jennifer Jacobs. Uh, I received my MD degree at, from Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. And uh, then I did family practice residency in St. Petersburg, Florida. After that, I diverged from the conventional medical world. I became interested actually in midwifery after a friend of mine persuaded me to help her have her baby at home. And at that point, I decided that modern medicine was just too interventionist and I was seeing too many side effects to the drugs that my patients were taking. Uh, I would give one drug and it might help one problem, but it would cause a side effect that then would need another drug and that would cause another side effect and so on. So I became disillusioned, went off into midwifery, and then uh, I was attending a conference where a homeopathic doctor was speaking, and it just clicked in my mind. Uh, it was like the proverbial light bulb went off, and it made so much sense to me, the whole idea of homeopathy, uh, like cures like, stimulating the body's own self-healing mechanism. Uh, so I went very quickly into homeopathic study. I went to the Bay Area in San Francisco and worked in a homeopathic uh, clinic there, that saw the effectiveness with my own eyes. But um, when I talked to my colleagues from medical school, they were always kind of poo-pooing it, and I sort of became persona non grata. And I decided that my interest in public health, uh, applying homeopathy to public health, would be an excellent way to segue into homeopathic research. My first study was a pilot study of acute diarrhea in children in Nicaragua, which was small, and the results were not statistically significant, but they were in the right direction. So the following year, I went back with my study team, and we did a larger study, only 81 subjects, uh, but they were all individually prescribed a homeopathic medicine for acute diarrhea. Half of them got a placebo, half of them got the actual remedies. And when we analyzed the results, uh, they were positive. It was really very interesting because at the University of Washington, my professors were very open but skeptical about homeopathy. And when we did this, the analysis of the results, we didn't know which group was which. So they were just group X and group Y. So it was triple blinded, I guess you could say, in that the statistical analysis was done without knowing which group was which. When we did the statistical analysis and found that there were significant results for one group, but I didn't know which group it was. And my professor, who was in charge of the whole thing, uh, he had the key, and at one point he opened the envelope, and we looked to see which was placebo and which was verum. And it did turn out that the homeopathic group was the one that had statistically significant better result. Uh, we submitted the paper to the journal Pediatrics, which is very highly rated within conventional medicine, and lo and behold, they published it. So. It was a very exciting time. There are a couple of other things I can tell you about that study that might be interesting. One is, is that I heard a rumor that the editor of Pediatrics uh, nearly lost his job for publishing that story, for publishing our research, um, that the board of directors called him on the carpet. And subsequent to that, you may or may not know that there was a guest editorial that was published in pediatrics by several known quackbuster homeopathic skeptics that tried to tear apart the study. Um, the first thing I knew about it was I received a phone call from a reporter from the New York Times who said, what do you think about this 
guest editorial in pediatrics that is calling into question your results. And that was the first I'd heard of it, which I thought was very unprofessional. Number one, that pediatrics didn't contact me to make a rebuttal to this, quote, guest editorial. The other thing was the guest editorial did not go through peer review, uh, which all articles should go through. Uh, my co-investigators at the university, my professors, were just horrified. They said they had never heard of anything like this happening before to a study. So um, that was unfortunate. 